Not good. All right, post game Central Region Two Championship game. Want to say wins the opener and loses to Augustana in the final, three to two. Head coach Greg Jones and seniors Katie Schlegel and Laney Manzile. Coach, I'll start by saying congrats. Obviously, I win number 800. Would have loved that one more. Um, just kind of talk about the day. It's tough to backtrack, obviously, to game one after after that one. But I mean, you guys, you guys showed your resilience you have all year in that first game. Yeah, it, you know, this is a tough group, and uh, we talked about it as a group out there. That the one thing I questioned about them coming out of the fall was their toughness, and uh, they just grew and grew and grew, and their their teamwork, their toughness, their tenacity just continued to grow over the course of time and, and uh, we've been in some great games this year. Uh, Augie's a great team. Uh, it's too bad that somebody had to lose that game as cliche as that sounds. Uh, but I give our kids a, a world of credit. It's a tough day when you know you have to win two games against Augie. It's tough to beat Augie anytime. And you know you've got to beat him and play with that kind of in the back of your mind. And you know, it, was what it was. It came down to the last at bat, two games in a row, and one game we're on the plus side, and the other game we're on the minus side. And that's kind of just the game in a nutshell. Lady, talk about that game one there. Obviously, the walk off that um, again, you guys have done that all year. What What do you feel when you go to play Trail and Ron, knowing that could be the end of your season? Yeah, we knew it was going to be a dog fight going into today all together. Um, I don't think any of us were afraid of the challenge. We, like you said, we've been doing this all year, walking games off and, and taking it to the last at bat. Um, I didn't honestly think anything. I just, I just was t taking it as a usual at bat and uh, hoping that the ball fell, and it did. And Katie Cole ran like she usually does and uh, gave us another chance to stay alive. And you know, was thankful to have the opportunity to play game two. Katie, talk about this season for you as a senior. The 31 game winning streak, 53 wins today, um, a new program record there as well. Um, just this group and this team this year for you. Um, these past four years have been the best years of my life, but this last one. see something to say something, uh, be the communicators, uh, but more than anything, to be selfless. Um, I, I always ask our seniors to forget about themselves. They got to play three years for themselves, now they're playing for the program, and, and, uh, and, and teaching people and showing people how to be selfless. And, and, and these two were just amazing all year. And, and we lost five really good people last year, and I didn't know how that would go um, just because there was such a strength in numbers with those five and with only two coming back but these two have just been pillars of this program of this university of this community uh, and I couldn't be more proud of them. Okay. Yeah, do you have uh, specifically uh, what can you say about each of these players as individuals and their parts are parts of all the players? Well, Katie Schlegel is just the spirit of who we are. I mean, she's literally the spirit of who we are. Uh, Katie has had every reason over the four years to be angry, to be frustrated, to walk away, to be mad. 
um, and to play for me, and she's never done it. Um, she's watched you know, Jordan and now Liz and McKenna before that go out and get the ball game after game after game. Um, and Katie is the president of our Student Athlete Advisory Committee. Um, she's got a smile and a high five for everybody in the hallway, uh, for everybody in the dugout today. Perfect example, in the first game, we had two collisions on the field defensively uh, in the same half inning. And we came in and we were fighting each other because we all wanted to win so bad. And I said, you guys are hanging on, you're too tight. You're hanging on too tight. And Katie just came in, she goes, do we need high fives all around? And she just, the tension just broke instantly. Um, and it's who Katie is as a person um, that will always be remembered. Laney's gonna have all the numbers, she's gonna have all the records, she's gonna have all the accolades. But I think what gets lost in all of Laney's success is Laney the person too. Um, because it's, it's easy, I, I just was having a conversation out there with, with someone from the other team and congratulated us and, and said that, you know, there are people that don't like you, but I think you're a pretty nice guy. And I said, well, it's not that I'm a mean guy, it's just that I'm a loud guy, you know. And, 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 and I say that because I think Laney gets that rep too because of how she plays. She plays with her heart on her sleeve. Um, and she showed everybody in our program how to play. Um, the numbers speak for themselves, the records, the accolades will be there. Someday somebody will break them because that's the way it goes. But again, what these two were as people and what they did for our culture was more games than any bunt, any strike thrown, or any ground ball fielder. Coach, obviously a lot of emotion after the game. Talking with your team, what was your message for them after the loss today? I wanted them to know that I loved them. Um, you know, I, it again, it goes back to that toughness thing. I just didn't know. You know, I'm big on identity. Who are we? You know, who are we going to be? Where are we going to hang our hats? And the identity of this program has always been from a softball perspective, pitching and defense. Um, and if you're going to be a pitching and defensive team, you better be tough. You better be able to win one nothing games. And, and um, you better be able to come from behind. And, and you've got to want to be 0-0 zero, zero in the seventh inning. And I didn't know that we had that. Um, and man, they just found a way all year long to just get tougher and tougher and tougher. Um, you know, Coach T put it well too. They have to remember they're always going to be champions. Nobody can ever take that championship away from them. Nobody can ever take the 53 wins, um, you know, and, and uh, the 30 game, 31 game winning streak, and all that kind of stuff will always be there. Um, but you know, it's hard because there's no easy button in that situation. Everybody hurts, um, and I wanted to know that, that I loved them. I wanted to know that uh, um, you know that how much these seniors meant to me personally. Um, and more than anything, I wanted to know that it wasn't about them as players, it was about them as people. And, and that's what I appreciated, who they were as people to the university, to the greater community. When I, I, I think, you know, we've hosted now a few times, and we've only, we've only advanced one time back in 09. This is our third time we haven't advanced. And it, it, it bothers me because of how much help we get from the community, how much turnout there is. And I just feel like we're letting people down. and, and uh, um, you know, you're this big shining pearl all of a sudden, and and, and then you, everybody goes home with that loss. And I just wanted our kids to know that that doesn't hang on them. That, that they're the people that have represented this community so well, and, and that was I just wanted to make sure they took away. When you, when you uh, look back on your, on your career, what do you think you're going to remember about that before you went to as cheesy as it sounds, just the people that I was surrounded with. Um, <laughs> um, it's been an honor to play for Coach Jones. He's one of the greatest coaches I've ever played for. I owe, I owe a lot of my success, success to him. <laughs> and. Uh, He's never lacked confidence in me. That's what's allowed me to play the way I've played and to have success at this level. And uh, to know I'm surrounded by people who are the same caliber as I am and with the same goals that I have. Um, to be set, surrounded by that for four years is not something that happens every day. Um, so that's the, definitely the thing I'll remember the most is uh, the continued support and confidence that everyone's had. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.